Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, a few days ago, a friend of mine, J4 is Awesome, asked me about a video on Corvus. Well, I do have several videos on Corvus. I have a Corvus closer look, but when I looked at that video, I realized it's time for an updated video. When I made that video, I had music playing in the background, which was distracting from uh, me talking about Corvus. Not only that, but I've had a much longer time with Corvus now, so I can talk a little bit more in depth about him. Okay, so first, let's take a look here. And you can see his champion tags, uh, the health he has at 565, and his attack. Now, you're going to notice something really strange here. Critical rating is zero. What's that about? We're going to talk about that. Uh, his critical damage rating is uh, 593. Let's uh, switch over here. Better to look at it in the uh, percentages, uh, in my opinion. All right, so he's got 164.3% critical damage rating. Uh, that means when he does crit, he's going to crit extra hard, okay? Uh, no armor penetration, no block penetration. Uh, he does have some critical resistance. Uh, he has some uh, armor rating and his block proficiency isn't the best, but that's not what Corvus is about. So let's take a look here at his synergies. And uh, you can go ahead and look at all of these synergies. But the one that I find the most useful is this one here with Proxima. With Proxima Midnight, uh, I use this synergy all the time in Alliance Quest. Basically, when you get the uh, knockdown mission, uh, the evade uh, and uh, auto block and you knock them down we'll talk about it more later uh, it becomes true strike and you don't have to worry about evaders except for spider gwen uh, she will still evade but in any case these are his synergies now let's take a look at his signature ability now back in the day when people would ask me uh, whether he needs to be awakened or not. I would say, no, he does not need to be awakened. Now, if you listen to people now, they'll say, oh, he have absolutely needs to be awakened. Well, let's talk about what his awakened ability does. And you can see mine is SIG 200. So with this SIG ability, he has a cheat death. Okay, that's the bottom line. He has a cheat death. While he has the Glaive immunity active, he cannot die. Now, this has allowed for some techniques. You might have heard of the Corvus timeout trick, which they are going to be addressing. Uh, but in short, what that means is in a fight, you'll fight until you are about to die. And once you use up your glaive charges, you pause the fight and let it time out. And because of his signature ability, he won't die no matter what he comes back he can have one hit point because when you time out you're supposed to lose lose half your health well there's been some discussion on that um, but in his signature ability it literally says he cannot die now it's obvious they didn't intend for that particular uh, consequence and we'll see what they do about it all right but uh, while it's active, he can't die. Instead, he will have four glaive charges removed when he gets hit. Okay? Uh, if he does a parry, which is the well-timed block that they're talking about there, it's two instead. So that means that, say, you are fighting a really, really strong opponent. And you've used up your, you know, not all of your glaive charges. Say you're down to uh, ten. Glaive charges. Okay? So you're like, all right, good. I'm, I'm, I'm good, right? And then you get a five-hit combo and die, and you wonder why. That's why. Okay? <clears throat> so if you have, uh, you know, the charges, but you're already low on health, and you take a lot of hits, it's going to be four a pop. So after three hits, your Glaive charges are gone. And then he's going to hit an additional two, and it's usually going to take you out. Okay, so 
Um, it is a very useful ability, however. Um, now, this last one here, you don't hear too much about, uh, but if he is able to spend all of his glaive charges in 30 seconds, he has a faster cooldown. Okay, when he uses up all of his glaive charges, they are going to come back, but normally slowly. But if you do this uh, and use them up, you know, just be really aggressive and use them up within 30 seconds, it'll come back faster. I, I don't do that very often, but I've seen people do that. All right. So now let's take a look here at his abilities. So Corvus has four missions that he needs to complete to maximize his damage potential. This does not mean that he is not good if he has not completed these missions. He's actually quite good with no missions, but every mission that he can complete, it adds to his damage considerably. All right, so uh, every time he completes a mission, he's gonna get a cruelty buff, and that's gonna be persistent. So it's gonna follow him uh, throughout all of the fights after he completes the mission. So he doesn't have to complete the mission in every single fight, okay? Just has to do it once and he has it for good, all right? Um, it increases his critical damage rating. Remember his critical damage rating that we looked at earlier? Well, this is gonna add even more on top of that. Like I said, he hits like a truck with any mission, all right? Uh, now, let's take a look down here. And this is something that a lot of people may not realize about Corvus. They know about his damage increase for every mission, but each mission that he completes, he actually gets another added benefit. All right, so you see here, mission one, uh, all he has to do is knock out an Avenger, someone that has the Avengers tag, not new Avengers, but Avengers tag. And he's going to gain 10 additional charges when he is fighting an Avenger. So if you ever see videos where he has 30 charges, it's because he's completed mission one and he's fighting an Avenger. All right. Mission two, he knocks out a tech he gets 25% reduced ability accuracy against tech champions. So when you get this mission completed and you're trying to get, say, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced to evade and he's not evading properly, that's why. He actually has a reduction, okay? Uh, Ultron, you might want him to evade so you can get that extra mission this might be why that's not happening for you. Okay, mission three, you knock out a mutant, he's gonna get a safeguard against uh, the special two, but only if he has that synergy with Wolverine, X-23, or Storm. I don't find that one as useful. Um, the Proxima one, for me, is the most useful, which we talk about here in this final mission. Basically, you just use a heavy attack or a special. You need to knock them down after they have evaded or auto-blocked, okay? So once you have an evade or an auto-block, then you will get a true strike when you have Proxima on the team. Now you won't have to worry about the evades. Now, something to note here, and I wish they had done this a little bit differently, but you cannot kill your opponent to get this mission. They have to survive, which means if they are almost dead, you know, say they're at 10% health and they evade, then you try to do a heavy and you take them out. You're not going to get the mission. They have to actually be alive. So it's really annoying sometimes uh, when they won't evade or auto block until they're almost dead, because then you only have two choices. Heavy, which is going to probably kill them or a uh, special attack, which most likely will take them out as well. So in addition to the cheat death, uh, his glaive immunity actually uh, gives him not immunity, but he does not take damage from cold snap, bleed, 
and shock debuffs or frostbite. Now, why that's important is he's going to still get the debuff. So if you are fighting against Void, you're going to still take damage because you're going to have that debuff active on you. Even if it's not doing damage, Void's abilities will cause you damage. Now, this is actually pretty good because if you have the Willpower Mastery, which I recommend everyone get at least one point, whether you run Suicide Masteries or not, you're going to heal. So Corvus will actually heal up from having a bleed debuff. So if you're running full suicide, you're going to have a poison and a bleed debuff. You're going to heal. Love it. Okay. Uh, so that's just something. Uh, now, he also has guaranteed crits. So while that immunity, glaive immunity is active, every hit is going to be a crit. He can also crit through the opponent's block. Not too many champions can do that. There are a few. I know Aegon can do it, and uh, I think Hitmonkey might be able to do it. He's recently added to the contest. But this makes him very versatile, believe it or not. Okay? Now, his blade, uh, that, you know, immunity, is damaged when he uses all of his charges. Okay? And it's going to be down for 50 seconds. That's why if you are able to awaken him, and use up all his charges within 30 seconds, it's going to come back much, much sooner. So 50 seconds is a long time to be dancing in that fight because you're not going to be able to crit. Remember that 0% crit chance that he has? Without the Glaive immunity, that comes into play. You cannot crit when you don't have that active. Okay? And that's not active in a couple of things and we're going to talk about that in a little bit here okay and that last point there just means that once he goes down to zero when it comes back he's going to have all of his charges back okay now when he's knocked down you know by a heavy or a special attack his immunity is disabled for three seconds so get this if you're fighting corvus and you want to kill him even if you had full charges and you're attacking him, you can take him out with a special. Because it's going to be disabled for three seconds, a special will disable it, and he'll die. If you're fighting as Corvus, that may have happened to you, and you're wondering why. You may say, wait, I had all of these charges, but I still died. That's why. It gets disabled on a knockdown. So if they hit you with a heavy, or if they hit you with a special, you're going down. Okay? Now, when he parries, which is the well-timed block, he's going to inflict a armor break on them. And that's going to increase your damage. Okay? Um, and they do stack. And here are his special attacks. So, special attack one basically does more damage if they have an armor break. But it does damage. Special attack two, this is where the big money is. Okay, you want to fire your special two when his uh, glaive charges are active, when his immunity is active. Because if you, for example, are fighting, you had a special two that you were trying to throw off, and they knock you down. And then you pop back up, and you fire off this special two, because as you can see, the special two is unblockable. And if you do that, while it's not active, it's not going to crit. And you'll wonder why it was so weak. Now, the other thing that a lot of people don't realize is that his special two also drains 20% of the opponent's power if they are at max power. So if you have them close to max and you're about to hit your special two um, power, you can go ahead and push them to a special three uh, and then fire your special two and it will drain them so that they won't be able to fire their special three off and then you can bait out the special two. So, great. All right. And then the special three, again, is also more damage. Uh, it does more damage if they are below 10% health. Okay. So, that's Corvus in a nutshell. 
Uh, one of the drawbacks to Corvus is opponents with a large health pool. If they have a large health pool, uh, he's not going to be able to take them down as easily within the you know time that he has those charges up. So the fight's going to be extra long. Now, I have videos on different uh, testing that I did. And <clears throat> basically, you want to do, for most of the time, medium light medium attacks that's going to give you the highest damage for regular fights if it's a really beefy champion you want to do medium light and back off medium light back off the reason being you'll be able to get more special twos in before your glaive charges go down so if you're fighting someone that you know has you know a low health pool or whatever you can either do a full five hit combo and that might take them out. If they have middle, you know, mid range uh, type health, then medium light medium. And if they are big beefy, then uh, you want to do medium light to maximize your damage. OK, so let's play around with Corvus a little bit and uh, I can show you a few things that he can do. OK, we're going to have a little uh, Corvus gameplay, not in Realm of Legends, but in act five and we're going to go into uh chapter two and we'll just go ahead and pick this first one here uh look at the team that i've gone in here with uh we've got nebula for more attack hulk more attack proxima midnight to get that true strike and we're going to try to showcase all of that uh in here now as a corvus user you should always keep in mind those missions okay so when you're looking through here the first thing you should be doing is saying, all right, what mission can I get? All right, this is Black Panther. He's an Avenger, so I can get an Avenger mission. Okay, here's a mutant. I can get a mutant mission. All right, that's the kind of thinking that you have to have as a Corvus user. All right, so uh, we'll look here. And this one here can take us straight over uh, to this inner circle where we get uh, tech. You know Spider-Man always evades, so we'll have a nice evade there. Um, these next two fights, not so great. All right, then you have a mutant there. So pretty decent uh, number of charges you can get in here. So let's do that, and that way you guys can see uh, what Corvus can do, uh, even when he goes up against uh, someone where he's not getting any uh, missions completed. So we're going to take uh, B here. And we'll go right on up. And of course we get an ambush. But that's okay. You get to see what Corvus can do without any missions. Now, keep in mind, I also have suicides on. Uh, with suicides, he's going to hit hard anyway. Okay. Right, come on. I believe this node, yeah. Uh, the node is, um, I think, power shield. So you're not going to do any damage except with your specials. So I can just do this, finish him off. I uh, don't remember, is that the global? Or is that just on this path? All right, let's keep going here. Uh, not optimal. Uh, that's not uh, what I would have chosen. I didn't notice this. All right. So this one, we can actually get a uh, evade mission on this one here. So let's see here. See? That's an evade. So now I just need to knock him down. Boom. Now watch this. Uh, once he gets done with all of that, I have true strike up because I had uh, Proxima. Look at that. He can't evade now. See? All right. And he's going to, of course, turtle up. So we caught him. Boom, boom. 
And even if that hadn't finished him off, he would have been down because the uh, 20% drain on his power. All right. Let's keep going here. Another ambush, but we have a tech. All right. It's been a while since I've been in here. Uh, let me take a look here. Yeah. Power shield is the global. Not the best uh, to showcase uh, Corvus, but you can at least gauge the different damage and, and all of that good stuff. All right, so you see I'm doing mostly medium like mediums. I'm just used to doing that. Uh, in this case, it doesn't really matter. Uh, because of Power Shield, really all you want to do is get to his uh, special uh, two. So see, I do a five hit combo there because I know I'm going to take him out with my special two. They're not going to survive my special two. But at least you're able to see uh, the damage ramping up as I get more missions. So that was a tech mission. Uh, we got the evade mission. All right. And we're going to go to D. Now, we already have the uh, evade mission. You know, I was looking over this and I was thinking, you know, that Spider-Man. But now you get to see... Corvus with that um, true strike up, that uh, Spider-Man is not going to be any problem whatsoever. All right, so we've got two missions completed so far. You see the two up there uh, by his profile. All right, let's see. We don't really need to uh, worry about it. There we go. Finish him off. All right. And I'm trying to think what other missions do that. All right. So let's take a look at his tags. I don't remember. Yeah, see, he's a new Avenger. So he doesn't have the Avenger tag. So we won't be able to get that mission completed. All right. So fortunately, though... See, all him evade failed. He can't evade. And that's really what made him so annoying. This is why I have such a uh, fun time with the Proxima Synergy. Without the Proxima Synergy, he'd be evading. Even if you got the mission done. Okay, there we go. See those crits? That was a 42k crit on one of his hits. All right, and let's keep going now. These guys, you know, Groot, but because it's power shield, he's gonna go down anyway. Okay, yep, yep, yep. And uh, I don't know if we have an Avenger on that, on this path here. All right, let's, let's get him down. I remember when Groot was such a problem. It was like in map, I think it was map three. And we actually would rather do four because of Groot. He wrecked us. Um, if you had a Mystic Champion, you had a, a good time against him. But anybody else? All right, here we go. Yeah, Power Shield makes it easy once you get to his special two it's all she wrote uh even a special one can do it but you know it's no need all right now um let's see dr strange now dr strange is annoying because he has counter spells same thing with symbiote supreme watch his buffs if he counter spells all right there you go it took away his damage buffs. All right? So all those missions, gone. Don't matter. Sorry about that. Had an alarm pop up on me. All right. And down he goes. So Symbiote Supreme, when he nullifies, he does crazy amounts of damage. Uh, without him being awakened... I would have died when I first faced Symbiote Supreme. I was, you know, I had 
bunch of missions. I think I had like three or four missions. And right at the start of the fight, he nullified, did damage for each one. And I went down to like one hit point. Okay. Uh, that was ugly. That was ugly. All right. So here we go. Just going to try to build up. Uh, and if you guys are wondering, that, that alarm earlier was my six stars were uh, coming off cooldown. And I don't want to miss them. So I always set an alarm just in case. All right. This. Boom, boom. And he's down. Uh, you can't really see the power drain because... You know, with the extra attack that you get on the, um, uh, for a power shield, uh, you're not going to get to see, you know, his, um, drain because he's going to just take him out. All right. Okay. Here we go. And again, we just need to build up to a special two to take them out. So let's go ahead and, um... Try to do that, okay. And we don't want to run out of uh, charges, that's for sure. Okay, there we go. Ooh, that's right. He has a um, sort of like a um, what do you call it? A safeguard. So we need to do this. All right. And that did not work. All right, so you get to see uh, how long it takes. That is rough. Yeah, he has that that uh, buff up. Man, that that is a pain. All right, so do you see that gray over there? That gray is how long it's going to take my charges to come back. All right, so I'm going to speed this up. All right, yeah, I forgot about uh, Magneto's um, abilities there. All right, here we go. Got the armor break, and that should do it. All right. Sorry, that took a little bit longer than uh, I was anticipating. All right, let's keep going here. And... Uh, this fight, let's take a look. Wolverine, role reversal, power shield, okay. Let's, uh, now, also notice that he's healing up a little bit uh, in the fight. See, like right here? You see, while that bleed is uh, there and I'm not taking any uh, damage, he's actually healing. And that can be very useful. All right. Let's back him up a little bit. Okay. Get to that special two. Finish him off. Power shield is a lot of fun with Corvus. Uh, but of course, we're in Act 5, and the health pools aren't that large. All right. Now, Iron Man is an Avenger, okay? We did get that, um, I think we fought an Avenger uh, earlier, all right? So now, since he is an Avenger, watch how many charges Corvus gets. So you'll be able to see that, that we were uh, talking about as well. So, um, oh wait, my bad. Um, we don't have that mission done. This, this is uh, the mission we will uh, complete uh, for the Avengers. So, yeah, he doesn't have uh, the 30 uh, charges. We would have had to have already completed the Avenger. All right. But this will be the last mission that we need. Okay. So, look at that damage. All right. So, now, if we were to face another Avenger, then uh, we would have the 30 charges at this point. All right, so you can see Corvus uh, has all four of his missions completed. Okay, and uh, may as well do this. Let's see. 
attack bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So let's see Corvus uh, finish off uh, this uh, quest here. Okay. Should be pretty quick. She got that extra attack bonus. But that doesn't matter if you don't get hit. And you saw he crit in between or on her block. All right. So that is Corvus. A quick run. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys any Corvus trick or whatever. I described it enough. Um, but that's going to do it. Uh, hopefully you now see how to use Corvus. Pretty simple and straightforward. You know, you finish those missions. You know, you do the medium light medium for the most part. Um, medium light if you have a beefy opponent and, uh, and that's pretty much it so take care click like subscribe leave a comment let me know what you thought about this video and you all have a blessed day